Before we begin, this video is sponsored by my Dark Roast producer, Noah West. Thank you, Noah. If you would also like to support this channel, you can become a Java Bean over at patreon.com slash Socratetris. Having just finished up a video on the design of Warframe's sentient bow Natoruk, I figured that, since I mentioned the Bosmu in that video, I would also like to throw together an analysis of the Bosmu's design and how it changes up the pace and gameplay of Warframe. I love this rifle. And again, much like the Naturuk, it's probably not going to be the best in slot weapon you were looking for when it comes to maximizing damage and clearing rooms. However, its virtue lies in three factors. Its recharging ammo, its rate of fire, and its optional reload ability. What sets sentient weapons apart in Warframe is infinitely recharging ammo, rather than having a max ammo that depletes, requiring the player to find ammo pickups from enemies, containers, or lockers, players simply have to wait for a moment, and that ammo will recharge to the max within less than a second. For anyone who has played the original Mass Effect, this concept is nearly the same as how that game attempted to update its shooter gameplay away from the popular designs of games like Call of Duty. There was even an in-lore diegetic reason why guns didn't require ammo, directly related to the science fiction premise of the Mass Effect and how it allowed them to create kinetic energy weapons. Players could fire a weapon until it hit an overheat state that would then require a cooldown period. Most players didn't like this in Mass Effect, as the downtime to reload a weapon felt significantly more active than the downtime required to wait for a timer to reset. So by Mass Effect 2, it was changed back to magazines and ammo being reloaded from a full stock with an explanation of limited battery life thrown in as a replacement diegetic reason for the change in gameplay. This is also probably why most players in Warframe are going to turn their nose up at the Bosmu on first sight. I know I did. You can't buff the power of each bullet enough for it to really matter, and the reload time for emptying an entire magazine is far too long. Or so I thought. The solution was to think of Basmu as an extremely fast-paced version of Mass Effect 1's gameplay. So let's talk about the build. First, build a little bit of strength into the Basmu. A fully leveled serration mod and one or two elemental mods will be plenty, but multi-shot never hurts either. After that, pump the Basmu with as many rate of fire mods as you can possibly muster. Don't bother with increasing the size of the magazine, that'll just be wasted space. By doing this, you can get Bosmu to be one of the fastest firing weapons in the game. The only caveat behind that is your skill as a player. Like Nataruk, Bosmu has its own rhythm, and that rhythm is something you can speed up by increasing the rate of fire. Since strategy is a big part of how to bring out the best this weapon has to offer, let's talk about the strategy. Your skill at using the weapon will need to keep pace with how far you boost that rate of fire. Otherwise, you will constantly be reloading on accident and slowing down your total damage output. If you can master this rhythm, however, you will be able to deal high, single-target damage that can wipe the floor with heavy units and Eximus units even at the highest levels of the game. Get a feel for what fraction of a second you can hold down the trigger, and for what fraction of a second is needed to recharge to max ammo. Set your internal metronome for light trigger holds, and reset whenever you can confirm a kill. The high rate of fire means that the Basmu is practically guaranteed to be constantly triggering elemental effects and critical hits. You're going to love never worrying about getting those again. The one thing the Basmu is weak against is groups of enemies. So get faster at confirming your kill shot and moving on. However, unlike other rifles that have this same problem, Basmu actually has a solution. The only time that the crowds should really give you a problem when using the Basmu is when you have to focus on high priority targets when in the middle of a large group. If you're getting overwhelmed, if you lose track of your rhythm, 
you are still compensated by the Basmu's special reload effect. On reload, the Basmu sends out a wave that deals only a small amount of damage and will proc some elemental effects, but the most important benefit is the stagger. Interrupting the damage output of the regular units around you, this crowd control effect allows the player the time to focus in on the priority target and unload damage. The crowd control effect is also wide enough to cover most of the space you're going to be fighting on in most tiles. If you need the time to recharge your shield, the stagger allows you the space to only require taking cover from the few heavy units in the fray rather than completely disengaging from the group. Now again, I'm not trying to argue that Basmu is the best weapon for any build. Rather, what I want to focus on is not so much the efficiency on display, but the gameplay design. If the Basmu were present in a game like the original Mass Effect, the rhythms of the Basmu would be a coveted endgame weapon. Something that would allow you to somewhat break apart the cover shooting mechanics and get into the middle of combat more frequently. In Warframe, however, it functions instead as a way to find a new way to play the game, and find your own fun by creating unique challenges for yourself as a player. So give it a try, let me know what you think of it in the comments, and also, if you know of any weapons in the game that can drastically shake up the flow of how you play Warframe, point it out in the comments. And who knows, maybe I will be making one of these design highlights for your favorite weapon too. See you next time, subscribe to the channel, and stay true.